Hey guys, welcome back to the series where we're using ChatGPT to help us design and 3D print ITBs for my 5.3 liter LS motor. Uh, this engine will be going into my rat rod project that I've been working on on the channel for quite some time. In this episode, we are going to be printing the final test assembly. So this will be uh, the intake manifold with the throttle bodies. We're gonna print this so that we can mount it on our test engine. Anyway, the printer is self-leveling now, and I think it's about to lay down its first layer. So let's go take a look at it and see how it's getting started. I just wanted to take a minute to welcome our new subscribers to the channel. This is our subscriber count just a few hours before this video is to be released. At this rate, we could easily be at over a thousand subscribers by the end of next week. So if you haven't done so already, please head over and subscribe. About 98% of you that are watching are not subscribed yet and it really helps the channel. So head over, subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know what you think. I just came out to check on it and the support for this bell, um, not the one here, but the one in front of it. And I'm hoping it recovers. See how messed up it looks compared to say that one, but it looks like it's gonna recover and pull through. When the first print was about halfway done, my sister and brother-in-law pulled up after driving all night to Connecticut from Florida. And in the back of their truck is our test engine that rode along with them. And we immediately began work on unloading it from the back of the truck. All right, so my sister and my brother-in-law just drove up from Florida and they brought me this. And this will be a mock-up block that we're gonna use for the 3D printed ITBs. And also we're gonna use it while I'm rebuilding this aluminum 5.3. Because this will be the engine that will be staying in the car. But in the meantime, this engine is gonna go in the car. So right now we're gonna get the hoist, pluck this guy up, put it on the engine stand, and then get this guy in the car to use as mock-up, because yeah, my heads are gone, and this has heads and all the stuff we need. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Now here I am the next day and my first print had finished up and we began assembly. I'm using this soldering iron to heat set some brass threaded inserts into the plastic intake. It basically heats the brass inserts up so that it can be melted into the plastic. I was a little skeptical at first as to how strong this would be, but after trying it for the first time, I'm quite impressed at its strength. After installing all the brass inserts, I began assembling the throttle bodies. And after installing the throttle bodies, we begin installing the fuel rail.
I had an issue with one of the layers not adhering properly, so um, we just applied some epoxy to get it uh, back together. I don't know what the issue was. I don't know if there was a cold breeze that cooled the layer off, but you know, it didn't happen on the next print, but we just epoxied it and got it back together. So now the next bank of intake manifold and throttle bodies is done printing, and I just pull it off the bed and get it ready to assemble. And here are all the parts in my living room on the little TV trays ready for assembly. I went ahead and sliced up and threw on the printer some more of those EV6 injectors. Uh, they unfortunately won't be done until we get back and we've run out of time. So I'll say goodbye to all my 3D printer and parts and we'll see you guys in the next one.